DJ Dells, what's up? I'm an addict for sneakers. Sneaker Addicts, what up? It's your boy Dells. Brand new unboxing video. I haven't done these in a while. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button right now if you excited to check out what I got in the mail today. And make sure to subscribe, of course, if you're new. There's this little stupid bell next to where it says subscribe. YouTube is just ridiculous. They want us now to let you guys know to hit the bell. Gives them permission to let you know when I upload a new video. As dumb as it sounds, you got to hit that little stupid bell. So, with that said, I got a package from Dallas Penn. Now, Dallas Penn has been on my YouTube channel, I think, three or four times. And I am... Definitely someone who's a huge supporter of everything he does. He definitely looks at things in a different light, and that's why I like him so much. I like people that are different. You know, I do not dislike your everyday Joe, but I love people that just look at things in a different light. So with that said, I just opened up the package, and I got a ton of what it looks to be socks. Oh, from Stan. Oh, look. Oh, see, Dallas knows what I like. Star Wars. We actually did an episode talking about Star Wars. I'll definitely put a link in the description box plus a pop-up somewhere on the screen. Check out all of our videos we've done together and um, follow over his social media. I'll put that in the description box below. He does tons of stuff, podcasts, he's got his YouTube channel, so follow all of his stuff. And let's check out this first one together. This is Upside Down. And it is the Death Trooper, I'm pretty sure, from Rogue One, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, I don't think this is Darth Vader, unless I'm going crazy right now. This looks like the Death Trooper. It doesn't say what it is, but um, let's guess what the next one is. This is kind of fun. And I already have an idea who it is, just looking at the side. And the outfit right there, that baby blue. I'm going to say it's Lando Calrissian. Who doesn't love Lando Calrissian? He is the man. Thank you to my guy Dallas Penn for this package. You the man, you the man. Make sure to follow all of his social media. And I got another package, so let's check it out. So I have absolutely no clue what is in here. I mean, it doesn't say a brand, it just says fulfillment. I'm not gonna show the address. Of course, I don't have scissors, so I'm ripping it open like a damn animal. Watch, it's not shoes. I don't know why. I just, I have a feeling it's not shoes. And it's not shoes. Oh, okay. This is sweet. So I got a bunch of stuff from one of my favorite clothing lines on the planet, and that is Cousins Brand. So let's go through this stuff. Got the brand new oatmeal hoodie right here, and um, we're going to try this on. I'm going to do a little modeling for you. I'm not going to do no sock modeling. That's just, that just seems a little weird. I don't know. Um, but I will throw on this hoodie. Bang! We got the hoodie on. This is that oatmeal flavor right here. That's what they're calling it. The oatmeal colorway with your cousin's branding. Love it. Definitely check them out. I will link them in the description box below. Use the code DJ Dells. DJ D E L Z. I think you get like 30 or 40% off. Maybe even 50. I'm a little unsure. So just check it out. Throw some in the cart. Type in DJ Dells at checkout. And bang, you're going to get that hookup. Don't know exactly how much it is, but it's going to be a nice, nicey, nicey, nice hookup. We also got another one. Let's try it on. Bang! Bang! We got ourselves another hoodie. This one representing Riverdale, New York. When I first started DJing, I used to DJ at all the college bars. I said college weird. It was like college. <laughs> But I used to DJ at all of these college bars back in the days. And when I seen this hoodie, I was kicking it with the owners. I was like, yo. I was like, you know I used to DJ at all these bars like Characters and Terminal and all these spots. And, yo, we just, like, connected like, yo, that's so crazy. When I first started DJing, man, I used to DJ all over Yonkers and the Bronx, Riverdale. That's how I started. I started around my way. Moved my way to the big city after that. So um, this was, you know, my young years, like as a teenager, you know. This brings me back whenever I see this kind of vibe right here. I got to support it. And I told him, we need to put out a 1 and 9 train. The worst subway ever because it's slow. It's a local stop. 
It's a nightmare. It starts over at Van Cortlandt Park on 242nd. I used to take that all the time. I'd park my car all the way up by Manhattan College or get dropped off one or the other and take the subway all the way. I would transfer once I got to the Heights for all my New York people out there. But man, I love this right here. So thank you so much for sending me this. And once again, this is available now. Use code DJ Dells. And we got another piece. Let's check it out. Let's check it out together. We've got this just in time for St. Patty's Day. Let's try it out. Bang! We got the perfect jersey for St. Patty's Day. It's wild because I actually had this colorway in white and green and I gave it to someone. I really didn't want to, but I wanted to help this brand out and give it to a celebrity. And I ran into WWE superstar, future Hall of Famer, definitely Sheamus who is Irish, I had to give him my jersey. It was brand new in the bag. I hooked him up with it because I knew he would love it, being that he's from Ireland. And um, I always love St. Patty's Day. In Yonkers, they have this strip, right? It's McLean Avenue, and they have all of these pubs. And man, I used to go to McLean Avenue and just party. There were so many girls back then, man. There's probably still a lot of girls on that block, man, going to all them bars, bar hopping, and this, that, and the third. Uh, good times, good times. But I always celebrated St. Patty's Day. A lot of my friends were Irish. I had a lot of different friends that were different nationalities. But So I always celebrated like every holiday, you know, when I was in high school. So we used to go take the train also on St. Patty's Day. Leave school, I'll, I'll say it in that way, leave school, take the train, go to the parade, and then go bar hopping. I just, you know, we make it happen where we would go bar hopping back then. Kids, don't follow what I'm doing. This was me being young and dumb. Don't rush growing up. You know, take it slow, all right? Take it slow, like John Legend says, all right? But yeah, man, I love this right here, and I love it more in black. So you see, I gave that one away to Seamus. Shout out to my guy, Seamus. But I ended up getting it back in black, and I love it. I love it. So you definitely will see your boy out and about rocking this on St. Patty's Day. And I got one more piece. Man, they really blessed me. I think it was that conversation, man. I think that when I was talking about Riverdale, man, they got excited because they blessed me crazy on this one. I always appreciate when they bless me, but they really blessed me, blessed me. They got me this hat right here, just representing the BX. I love the Bronx. When I was doing the mixtape thing, the Bronx really showed me so much love, man. Grand Concourse, Fordham Road, Gun Hill. Man, they always showed me a lot of love when I first started DJing. They got me in a lot of magazines back in the days. I was in the Source magazine, I think, seven eight times i was on double xl was in um all them underground magazines like scratch magazine i was even in the scratch magazine for my mixtape that just blaze was on and i know just blaze from time to time watches my vid so um just blaze check out that magazine i know you got it you'll see my mixtape i think it was a mixtape i did with capone from capone and noriega but um Let's throw this on. Let's make it right. Let's make it right. There we go. Now we're right. But yeah, man, I love this hat right here. You're going to see me wearing it a lot because it's fire. You guys really blessed me. Everyone blessed me, man. Thank you so much to Dallas Penn once again, my brother from another mother. You already know what time it is, man. Cousins Brand, check them out. That will be linked in the description box below. Use code DJ Dells and also a link where you can find these socks. Because they're pretty dope. If you love Star Wars, it's a necessity. You have that. And before we go, because I know DP is going to be watching and a lot of others. And um, DP stands for Dallas Penn. Get your head out of the gutter. <laughs> Yo, I don't think I ever showed this. I may have, but look at that, man. Autographed by a lot of the cast of Star Wars before we close it out. We got Carrie Fisher's autograph. Man, we got a lot of autographs right there. Pretty crazy. A grail of mine. We're going to close out the video right there. Plus, join the Patreon. If you love what I do, go in the description box. Join my Patreon. You're going to get over four hours of material that will never be on YouTube in its fullest extent. Patreon members only. Join. Thank you for your support. Love you all. Even my haters. Mwah.
brand new pick one sneaker battle. This is where I show you two shoes from a brand or a concept, and you, the people, let me know which one you like better. Keep in mind, there's no wrong answer. It doesn't matter what he like or she like. It's all about what you like. So after I show you both of these on feet, you let me know in the comment box which one you like better. The black cements or the white cements. The black cements or the white cements. Let me give you a close-up look at both shoes real quick. So classic. Such a great pair of shoes. Just absolutely a masterpiece. Tinker really nailed it on these, designing these. These will never go out of fashion, never go out of style. Complete masterpiece. Which one you like better? The black cements? Or the white cements? Leave that in the comment box below. As far as the fit, I like to go true to size with Air Jordan 3s. True to size. If you have a narrow foot, you probably could go down half a size. I do not recommend going up half a size. I definitely do not recommend going up half a size. Unless you have like that Fred Flintstone brick. That brick of a foot. Then go up half a size. I love the Nike Air on the back. That OG wave. Make sure you subscribe if you're new, and there's this little bell next to the subscribe button. It's very important you hit the little bell. YouTube got something new going on. They're always changing stuff up. If you don't hit the bell, you don't give them permission to notify you when I upload a new video. So you have to hit the bell. It basically gives them permission to let you know when I upload a new video. So do that. Bong! Smash that bell. And with that said, let me hit you with that infamous Burp, 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 bird's eye view. Chick, chick, view, 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 view. And there you go with a close-up HD look. Showed them both on feet. Let me know which one you like better, the black cement or the white cement. Leave that in the comment box below. You're watching. Participate. Don't be too cool for school. Let me know. Thanks for tuning in. Give me that thumbs up button. Show that love. And I hope you guys are all having a great day.